I know it's not a Massey, but sure, what can we do? Hello, welcome to this week's video. Uh, in this week's video, we are going to be finishing off, getting in the sh shelter here, I hope, not really. Um, we're going to be finishing off a job that we started last week, which is the trailer park area. And I want to open up, not open up, uh, fish out the, uh, the disc car from the hedge and uh, just kind of get a better look at it. So that's going to be this week's video. If you're liking the videos, don't forget to give me a good old thumbs up and uh, if you're really enjoying the videos, subscribe to the channel. So let's get stuck into, uh, go back down, get the digger and start uh, back into this trailer park area. What I'm doing is I'm going to have to go all the way up to the top glen here and bring down the small digger, the little hell job digger that is, because the builder is using the big digger. And if you remember from last week's video, which was yesterday in my world, I didn't get all of the uh, the hardcore in. So while they're beavering away with the big digger, I'll go get the wee digger and we'll finish doing the hardcore. Right, I'm uh, going down here to put on the, back on, put the blue trailer back on again and start carting down some more of this, uh, this rubble, well not rubble, fill I suppose, to finish the job I started yesterday or last week in your world. Let's get the blue trailer on. Got a load on, well, part of a load. Oh, wrong gear. Higher gear than that. I have to say that filling the trailer with the little digger is a lot slower than with the big digger. It just doesn't have the the size in the bucket, the capacity, and it doesn't have the power to kind of pull through and just lift the load. You have to kind of pick through it. But well, it's a great little digger. It's very, very handy, and it'll be great. You know, it'll be great for in here because, uh, yeah. But I don't know. I need to order more stone actually because I think that's us. That's the last load of that random rubble stuff, or not random rubble. What do they call it? Crushed rock. Right, uh, I'll probably only get one more load in there because that's all there is up there. 
and I really miss the dumper because it would be far handier than the trailer actually. I have to watch the angle that I tip the trailer because if you're on the slope and you put the trailer up, it'll fall on against the shed and that would be a bit of a disaster. So I'm not going to take the load that's off the dumper, just leave it on there. But if one more load you in here and that'll do for that. That is all the stone in there that we can get. Well, we can get more in, but I don't have any more to put in. And uh, what I need now is a skilled bigger driver to turn up and level it all out for me. Um, and that'll be a great little spot for parking trailers and things. So that's that. Right, let's go get the trailer off, get the tractor back to the shed, and that'll be that. Right, as I said earlier on, as you know, I'm completely out of parking space here. So what I'm gonna have to do is, is dump this trailer off in the field, which is less than ideal, but um, yeah, I have nowhere for it, and the guys are creating these steel beams around, and we just need space here, so I'm going to drop this into the field, and that'll be the end of that. Close, but good enough. Comes a point where you just have to do a job and the dumper is there behind me full of sticks. I need to get sticks off it because I need it to lift some of these stones. Just putting it off, putting it off. I thought we could have got these sticks in somewhere and get them cut up, but they're just in the way now. So I'm gonna take them out, dump them out across the fields here. We can cut them up another day, and I need the dumper to lift some stones. So we'll uh, get the dumper going, dump the stuff, and I think move these gates here. Rake of sheep gates and things to get out of the way.
that's from an old tree that fell down or blew down in the, uh, the last storm last year. And uh, we'll cut them up for firewood, not today. So they're there, they're there out of the way. We'll now go back and start lifting out these big stones and put them into the dumper. what I'm actually uh, up to here. I need to hook out these bigger stones because they're too big for this here and I have a job for them up here. So a good old soft spot we talked about before. I'm going to dig that out. Put these heavy stones in there and then uh, the fire stuff on top of it. So I'm going to get all the big stones out of here and that will allow us to get them out of here. It was very windy. Sorry about the wind noise. Anyway, so I'll go get the wee digger, bring it down, and start hooking these stones out. Probably not get it all done today, but that's the plan. The, uh, one of the reasons for using the dumper and not the trailer is because there's some big stones that hook out of here and if you drop them into the trailer you dent the bottom of the trailer uh, or we say uh, knock the arse out of it but uh, yeah the, um, the dumper is made of far stronger stuff and uh, not that you recommend dropping big stones in it but it's just designed to, to be able to cope with that and we don't want the trailer basically dinting the whole bottom of the trailer so that's why I'm using the dumper and not the blue trailer but there's some there is some big stones in here but we'll get them hooked out Right, now that the dumper is out of the way, you get a better um, better view of what we've got here. So, as I said earlier, our uh, our neighbour come over, who's a, as we call him, friendly professional digger driver, of course. He came over and levelled all this out for us. Much better job now. And you can see, it's actually a good space for, for parking, uh, for parking trailers so we're going to now get the couple of cow trailers bring them up set them in here which frees up the space down there on the concrete so we can start tipping some stones there um, we've ordered a load of spalls we call them spalls for drainage so there's that drains to go in and uh, there's another load of that uh, 20 ton of that uh, well that stuff to come because we need to finish up there so we'll get the trailers and set them in here and that'll be that then. Cause I've been living life right like I could just die any minute Don't pull right down the side PCH got your limit I don't need a guide Follow lights Take me where I wanna visit Are you alive? Or just breathing? Cause I've been living life right like I could just die any minute Don't pull right down the side
heights, driving at night Windowless ride, feeling alive Nothing in sight, forever in flight Follow those lines, we'll make it this time Blurry street lights, work as a guide To memories that we're making tonight Oh yeah, we'll make it tonight Yeah That is the job done. Two trailers are in there. Great parking space. Hard surface. Not mucky and mud and slipping and sliding. Great job. Let's go take a wee, wee quick look out of here. Um, there we go. Better view of it without my big nut stuck in the way. So two trailers are in. Good hard surface. Dry, tidy. And then just up the side of the old container. Plenty of space there to get up and down past. And there's room for more trailers. You got another trailer in the front there as well. So the old tipping trailer could go in there or something. In there. So yeah. So excellent job. Right, well our uh, neighbour has dropped his very tidy little uh, New Holland here. I know it's not a Massey, but sure, what can we do? Anyway, I need to get it out of the way. It's actually in the way because I need to go past the digger. The reason I want to get past with, with the digger is I want to put the chains on the digger and lift up the old disc harrow and see what parts I need for it. Because the last day I looked at it, or in the last video, I think it was last week. Yeah, it was last week. I wasn't able to tell because it was stuck into the ground. So we'll move this uh, non massa here. I'll we'll call it that and um we'll get the digger <laughs> i'm laughing at myself now we'll get the digger up because he couldn't go into the field with the forklift around we'll get the digger up lift up the disc disc car see what the state the discs are in and then we'll uh, be able to make a better uh, let's say uh an educated opinion on uh, on what to do with it so let's get this out of the way first to say this is the uh, first time I've ever drove one of these uh, blue tractors. Don't want, to, don't want to say it too loud there. Um, I'm going to be careful with it. But it's a super little tractor. Um, I've never I've never been in a New Holland actually and uh, I have to say it's this is a super little tractor. Um, it's about the size of the 390T cab weights and kind of body weight or skid unit and all the rest of it but it's more powerful I think this tire is about 115 horse something like that uh, 110 on 15 um, the 390t is obviously 90 whatever it is around about 90 but yeah lovely little tractor actually all right we'll leave it there let's go get the digger up lift up this old this car and see how bad it really is. I like his wheels. They are wider, way wider than the ones, the ones in the 390T are about there. Those are way wider. And the back ones, same size of rim, but just wider wheel. Yeah, nice, nice little tractor. Right, so I've managed to get the old uh, disc harrow out. 
plus the shopping trolley. No idea why that's in there, but anyway, pull that off. Pull these bits of briar off, and hopefully we'll get a look at it and see <laughs> what it needs. Looking at it from here, first impressions, not good. Anyway, let's get all this crap off it. See what it's see what it's made of. Right, the uh, this car, <laughs> as I suspected, is in a pretty bad way. So, the two front, I'll, I'll, I'll spin the camera around in a minute and let you see it, but the two front axles are shot. Uh, they've been going round without any bearings in them, and they're worn. So, uh, we didn't do that, but somebody did like that when we got it but so those two are done so i need two front axles four bearings and two two or three bearing carriers i'm not really sure the back axle can't really see it there's the back axle there the back ax the, the back axle is seized so that's four bearings at least the axles are okay but that's four bearings i kind of thought that from when it was parked up there i knew that but and a disc is broke on it you can see the disc here i'll um there it is let me do my usual spin the camera around so you can see it better than well better than what i can describe it yeah it's not a great shape this thing plus i think that's the wrong axle in the front of it because that's a that axle is uh, thousand mil, and uh, all the other all the other axles are twelve hundred mil. So I think someone has replaced that axle, or maybe they have a shorter axle in them. I don't know. Maybe somebody can tell me that. But it looks to me that someone has been working on this at some point and put a different axle in the front. But who knows? Anyway, spin the camera around. Right here we go. So you can see in there. Maybe in this way how the axle is rotating without any bearing. So the axle is shot. Now the bearing car might be okay there, but the axle has definitely been scuffed and worn. So yeah, so that's that. Um, the other, the other one's the same. It's completely worn. So that whole thing there is scrap. In here, same again, as you can see, no bearing, bearing completely gone and axles kind of rotating in the, in space. And up here, we have a bearing in the front, but no, let's just seize us. Two minutes and that would be into nothing. So that's the front axle in the back. This won't rotate, but the uh, the bearing is held here, but you have to replace it. It's it's uh, it's had it, and see him in the other one. It's, it hasn't been driven uh, with the bearing collapsed, but the bearing is now completely seized. And on the back axle here, this is rotated or turned somehow, I don't know why, but 
again bearing pretty much had it and then the bearing has been worn here it's been driven here you can see it's been driven and the bearing has completely collapsed so I'm thinking I might need three axles actually and a full set of bearings so the question is now now we've dug it out of the hedge is it really worth a fixing to be honest it's touch and go um, I hadn't figured that three axles would have been damaged um, I thought one so it's it's really borderline I don't I'm back to square one where I was months ago I don't know what to do with it it's it's one of those things do you do you or do you don't or just you know ship it on keep it for parts maybe and pick one up you could probably pick one up for the same amount of money you could fix this up so and you have all the time involved in fixing it up um, but I would love to see it on the back of the 1200 I would love to see it blast it paint it and have it in the collection so yeah it's hard to know what to do with it I'll do some calculations yep um, I'll be up all night doing that no, on a serious note, um, I'll go back to the breaker, see how much it's going to cost me to put this together, and then we'll, we'll make a decision on it. I, I think it probably borderline will, but it's there, thereabouts. The, having the three shafts damaged, um, I didn't factor on, but anyway. Okay, enough waffling. I'm going to stick this back into the hedge again where it came out of, and... Uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Right, folks that is the end of the video and i finally got this done um it's been a long time coming i've been trying to get this job done for a very long time but of course the shed has been taking priority and uh, just a little bit of a downtime on the shed because well the guys are away today today's saturday so they're not working you did see me working at this earlier in the week when they were here i was kind of in their way actually but anyway we got it done so that's the end of it that's it thank you for watching um if you're enjoying the content Please give me a good old thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to the channel. And of course, I always say it, you know what I'm going to say, start the video, I'll say it at the end. Keep the comments coming. If you have something to say, you want to say hello, whatever, put it in the comments box. I do love to hear from you. So anyway, that's it. That's the end of the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.